Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Crown Jewel. You may know me from TMZ, rocking that Brothers OG. Don't stop. All right, and I uh, got an interesting guest today. All right, the infamous White, white Kanye. Kanye, the Great. So, the Great, the Great. Right? You know, a lot of people they they forget to say the Great. You know, it's kind of like if you if you're gonna mention Alexander. Are you going to mention Alexander, Alexander the Great? Hopefully this interview is going to shine light on why I've chosen the Great. Because I wanted greatness in my life and I'm accomplishing that mm -hmm. through action. Okay. I said I was going to do something and I did it. Where most of the people in the world, they can't, they can't seem to figure that out, right? They talk, they talk, they talk. Where is their action? And that is what the purpose of this interview is to explain myself. Hopefully other people will understand a little bit more of White Kanye instead of assuming. You see, a lot of people, they see my Kanye, oh, is he a rapper? Oh, does he make beats? No, I don't rap, I don't sing, I don't make beats. I'm a super villain. And this interview today is hopefully going to shine light on that. Okay, well, you know, actually, yeah, give it up, give it up there, okay? In fact, I got a broken chair over there that fucking Manny almost sat in and fucking broke. Because one of the prostitutes broke the chair when I had a bachelor party. It was crazy. They sucked some guys dick. But they, I, almost my dick. But I was on too much cocaine. But that's for a different story. Now, um, a lot of women these days are bisexual. Did you know a lot of women are bisexual, Crown? Yes. Actually, I'm in uh, Los Angeles. I know a lot of women. Yeah, well, I'm going to be honest with you. I haven't met a fucking chick thus far that doesn't like eating pussy or ass. Now, it, it bothers me a little bit. You know, um... The ass part? No, oh, fuck no, I love eating girls' eyes. That's my favorite. You got a, a good level of success. All right. Nice fan base going on, all right? Mm -hmm. Got a lot going on. Do you feel like you've reached that pinnacle of celebrity status? Or, or, or better yet, why haven't you? Well, in my head I am. I mean, I have I'm one of the hosts of TMZ sitting in my house with a live audience interviewing me because I chose it. Uh, celebrities, thank you. Um, celebrities really um, choose their own destiny. We we make every day count. We don't have the normal restrictions that most people have, so we have to go above and beyond. But imagine a man with talent. See, a lot of celebrities. My biggest issue is a lot of celebrities these days. They don't have talent. I've hosted for major celebrities. I've even had Nick Cannon beef with me when I first moved to LA he he uh, retweeted one of my music videos with Hero cut the check um, there was some beef over that I've hosted for Migos Travis Scott Justin Bieber Post Malone Justin Bieber very talented a lot of people don't like him but you know if I'm gonna be a reviewer and people are gonna listen to my word I want them to trust me so when I see someone that sings exactly on point to what their album sound like that's great but when I see people like Travis Scott sorry Travis and post and me goes you guys suck like bad like i i wouldn't i wouldn't tell people to spend money to go see them live in concert you don't like travis scott i love travis scott's music that is made by the best auto-tune beat maker music makers in the world and the best advertisers in the world to make sure he's known and like, yeah, his music's dope, but is he talented? No, it's the people that back him. And that's my problem is, you know, the reason I probably haven't hit that pinnacle of household name yet is, like I said before, even in this cannabis industry, imagine a guy like me with nothing, and I've already accomplished so much. They don't want me in their lane because I, with nothing, I made this. I made all of this with nothing. Imagine if they gave me something. Uh, are you, uh, you know, into breaking up households or? No, no. Oh. It, it, I'm beyond that. Um, here's my problem: is being a sex symbol. It's like you want it, right? You grow up. You 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 say to yourself, you're gonna be wanted by all these women, right? But now you're basically a notch in their belt. They fuck you and they leave because they gotta go back to the families because of their husband has the money and the and the security and they're taking care of their kids, blah 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 blah. But they still want to come out and fuck me and that doesn't exist, right? It's like if a tree falls in the forest and no one's around to hear it, it happen. 
so many men out there right now have wives that hit on me, fuck me. All these things, I have no idea. And it hurts me a little bit, so I'm done with that. That's a requirement. You know, here's the problem. I'm a very good looking man under the mask. Very handsome. The women I have shown my face to love me. That's not the point though. Like, you're not supposed to know what I look like. You're supposed to know me for my personality. It's like the opposite of shallowness. Like, I wanted to prove that, you know, like, I can pull the hottest chicks in the world and they don't even know what the fuck I look like. Right? Okay. All right. But if it comes with a great cost, these, these women that you all think are your dream girls, they're not. They might be pretty on the outside, but are they pretty on the inside? So I've really tried to stick to being solo and just loving myself because how many people actually love themselves? Like I wake up every day, I love myself. I, I actually, do you know why I can't sleep anymore? It's not, I'm actually cleaning this over now. No, that's a lie. But I, I don't do drugs as much anymore. And the, and the point of it is that I don't sleep now is not because of drugs, it's because I'm so fucking excited to wake up in the morning. Like there's nothing stopping me from creating magic every single day. There's no, you know, there's no boss that, no, hey, you need to do this, or, oh, you got to do that. No, it's, let's go get some comic books. Let's go watch some cartoons today. Let's play some video games. Let's make people laugh. Let's motivate them. You know how much more satisfying that is than going to work for somebody else? Very true. Very true. I expect a lot more applause than that. Jesus Christ. Very true. Kanye. Yes. Why Kanye? The great. The great. Um... Did a little research on the man and uh, sees that, you know, show that you had a, a good upbringing, you know, silver spoon, as you say, but you had a tragedy in your family, losing your father, was it Christmas Eve? Yes. I applaud you for the confidence. A lot of people don't want to bring that up. A lot of people are afraid to beat around, they beat around the bush, really. Yes, my father died when I was 16 years old on Christmas Day, on the day that you shouldn't lose a father, but you see, the point about me is... I love my father. I love bringing my father up. He was a great man. He made me who I am today. He always told me I can be anything I wanted. There's something that was so deep and so important in my trials and tribulations of becoming like Kanye. I haven't really shared it with too many people, but this might be a great opportunity for me to share that with everybody. Christmas Eve, the day before my father died, I, um, I was afraid of my father. Not because of who he was, but because of what he was becoming. A skeleton. I don't know if you know what hospice is, but it's when they put a hospital bed in your home and they take care of you before you die. So you can die peacefully in your home, but I didn't really find peace in that. I watched my father, one of the strongest men I could think of, a superman literally, turn into a skeleton and die in front of my face. I knew he was dying, and I didn't talk to him much when he got sick because it was just scary. So Christmas Eve, I built up enough courage and I told him what I wanted to do. I'm not going to share today what I told him word for word, but I want to share with you that thus far, for how old I am, everything I told him has come true, meaning everything that I did tell him that hasn't even happened in my life will most likely happen. My father is my guardian angel and I believe that because of what I've predicted to this point. You know, I proved that impossible and most people should find motivation, inspiration from that. Not hatred or jealousy. They should say, wow, this man took nothing, turned it into everything he's ever wanted had everything stacked against him, no money, no investors, no father, no mommy to call, just had me. And a couple prostitutes that I pimped out for money, but okay. that's a different story. Okay, okay. With all that being said, um, is, there a, is there something you have to prove? Are you upset about something? You know what I mean? Are you upset about the loss of your father? Maybe you know, your family, in a way, turning their back on you? I Honestly, Crown, I'm so happy you brought this up. One of my fans tagged me, and it was Little Duval. He posted on his Instagram and his Twitter that there's enough villains out here. 
And a lot of people that were hurt at a younger age are now trying to show you and like be better than you. Be like, look what I can do. And it's turned this world into villains. And I read that and it hit me kind of deep because I almost felt like he was speaking to me. But then I remembered that I am not upset my father passed. I am not upset my grandmother and mother fired me and let me starve and, and freeze almost to death in the garage with no insulation. I have no animosity towards them. In fact, I've just recently made up with my mother. It's been fantastic. But the reason is I was right. No one will ever take that away from me. And do you realize my father probably had to die? on Christmas Day to motivate me to help these people. My purpose historically will be one of the most important. I will show the people that their childhood dreams are not fantasy. Do you realize I told people I wanted to be president or a superhero when I grew up? I'm not really that grown up, but I'm already a super villain, literally making money. I'm being an asshole. So when I think to myself, what does the future hold? We see Trump, he was in, you know, all this entertainment, he became president. There's nothing that I cannot do. I could be king of the world. It just takes the people. The people have to believe in me, and I hope that one day you will. And through honesty and, and continued hard work, I will earn your trust. Because one day, I want you to trust me to fix this world. This world is broken. Every day, I see tragedies that should not be. There is no perfect world, but one day, there will be a world that has more common sense. A little bit more smarts. See, a lot of people think I'm dumb, but then I tell them, go ahead, make a six-figure income. Wearing a mask on yourself like Kanye wearing a gun hole. Like, really, a lot of these motherfucking gangsters act like fucking cowboys. But do you really walk around with a gun holster and a gun? No! You fucking don't. I got pictures of me in public wearing that shit. So I noticed everything you've been talking about, you know, your successes and stuff. Uh, you speak really highly of yourself, okay? Uh, seems like you had this plan. I mean, did you have this predicted that you would be this successful supervillain? I mean, that's really what it comes down to, Crown, is when you word for word tell your dying father what you're going to do, and then word for word it happens, and you're right all the time. I, being right all the time is not awesome like you think it is. Most people are like, oh, you're right all the time. No, like, I am, and it comes with a curse. Huh. You know, I predicted exactly what I was going to do. So now that I'm here... Can you imagine what I can create in the future? I'm a huge believer in manifestation. I want my fans to really take that into consideration that I made the impossible happen because I felt it. I wanted it. I envisioned it. I smelled it. I tasted it. I did everything to create this character, right? So if I was able to prove to myself that I can manifest something, wouldn't it? Logic be that I can double down on that and manifest something even more and continue that. If manifestation is real and energy is real, which I'm a strong believer that it is, and I'm here to prove it, okay? So over the next couple of years, you will see me become that household name. Is it just being a household name? Maybe, but I see more than that, Crown. I see I'm one of the only celebrities without strings attached. Do you realize my boss that pays my bills has no control over what I say and make or when I make it? Oh. I am in 100% control. I know zero celebrities that have that. How many? You're, this man is on TMZ. You know many celebrities and they all listen to people, right? They listen to them. I listen to me. My gut tells me where to go, and that's where I believe that the future is so bright because if you are listening to your gut and that energy that you feel too, you can't lose, and I won't. Mark my words. But try and make art. Go ahead. Go ahead, you guys, go out there. Make some art. You can't. 
Try to make the Mona Lisa. See, I made the Mona Lisa that actually paints more art. I created White Kanye. And White Kanye goes out and makes art. Have you ever seen a piece of art? Crown, I want your honest opinion. Have you ever seen a piece of art make art? A piece of art make art? Yes. That's interesting. That is what I created. And it's so deep that most of these people can't even fucking fathom what I've done. And that's the frustration that I have. Okay, so now we got the owner of Brothers OG and Bruce. They want to ask you some questions. They want to ask me some fan questions? God damn it. All right, let's hear what they have for me. Come on up here, guys. This will be fucking interesting. I'm a little nervous. Not as nervous when I got, you know, when the strip, when the hookers were sucking dick of the guy in the middle of my, Okay, anyways, what kind of fan questions do we have today? From the fans. Hi, Bruce. How are you doing today, Bruce? I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good. How you doing, man? I ain't seen you in a while. You know, Bruce, did you know you're one of the fan fans? Not you. No, <laughs> fans no. hate you. They but do. they love you, and they hate Spark, but they love you, and yeah. they love me. We should probably do more videos together. What do you think? I think we should. We might need to do that. I, I think let's find out what the fans want. All right, let's hear what the fans have to say. If I was something of an impact of what people are, in today's society. I mean, most of you do drugs, drink, and cheat, and lie. But you won't admit it. I will. That's why you love me. Because I do <laughs> the things you wish you could do. And yeah, like right. <laughs> I get it. I'm the greatest of all time. Why would you want me to be better? I get it. I get it. But did you know that there were other fan questions on there? Like, how does it feel to be king 24-7? A fan literally asked me that. God damn it, you didn't ask it. And the reason he didn't was because why would you ask somebody that already thinks he's king, how does it feel? Da, 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 da. It's probably ridiculous, is it not? There's two photos in there, just so you know. Okay, well, I'll check that. I mean, I, no, it's in there. It's in there. I missed that question. But anyways. I apologize. Um, that was one of the questions. That's one of the biggest problems that I'm having in this industry is imagine... Trying to be successful, trying to be big in this industry, trying to make an impact, and then you do, right? Let's say you got a big event, a, a platform, people following you, you got a radio show, whatever the fuck you got going on, it's fantastic. And then, you know, what did you have to do to get that? You have multiple investors, you know, you've had to spend a lot of money, and you have the most professional of everything, and then a guy like me comes in. With a with a cheap GoPro and a broken cell phone and a mask called White Kanye and I run circles around the wall. Of course they don't want to put me on. Of course they hate me. Of course they don't want to do a one-on-one -on -one interview because why would they want their platform to see me? Because it would take away from their influence. Oh, wow. yeah, that seems interesting. Meaning, and also I accidentally took a lot of cannabis influencers' wives and girlfriends, which Oh, Very sorry, uh, it did happen. A lot of times I didn't even know it was gonna happen. Like I was like, oh, this chick's hanging out at booth. I'm like, oh, what, what are you up to? And she's like, oh, you know, the host of the whole event invited me. I'm like, why aren't you hanging out with him? She said, because you're here. I'm like, oh, why am I not the host of the event? Because they don't want to put me on. Why did I not get on stage at many events? Why do people hate me? Because why would you want me to be more famous? I'm your competition and I get that, but guess what? You all are not my competition. I don't look at you as competition at all. Like, I run circles around you all, so stop trying to compare me. There's no competition. Just put me on your goddamn stage and your FM radio. I don't give a fuck. I'm better than you. Point blank, period. Let's move on to our next question. What the fuck are you going to ask me now, Bruce? All right, this is from Hot Lips 87 what? That's a real name. Hold on. I'm just telling you what the fix is. Okay, okay, okay. I, just, I wanted to know if that's real. Okay. How did say these seven says she got a motherfucking question? What you want me to do? Okay, hey, ask it. Right. God. How did says, Yeezy, do you wear that mask all the Ooh, fucking time? That's a good question. I'm going to be honest with everybody. There are times that I don't wear the mask. Oh, shit. Uh, when I'm by myself, locked in my, my mansion here, um, and all the windows are shut, and all the blinds are shut, I do take it off. Um, I'm, I already know what a couple other fan questions. Maybe, you know, do I fuck in the mask? Do I go out in public in the mask? And I'm going to be honest with you. I know the she didn't ask that question, but the other fans do! Let's find out what some other fans want. I wanted to finish my 
store. Yes, I do fuck in the mask and I do go out in public mask, but I have a personal driver and an assistant. So many of the things that normal people, you know, oh, I gotta go grocery shop. I have an assistant for that. You know, thank, thank, thanks again for that, Manny. Um, but anyways, basically, I try and keep it on as much as possible because as a real life supervillain, wouldn't a supervillain really keep his mask on? And I love it. It, it gives me a little extra. It gives me a certain type of mystery that you, and you, and you, a genus of quoi that you cannot have without it. It's like a fancy suit, but ten times better. Set up, set up. All right, <laughs> next question, please. What do you think is the best hip-hop record ever? Oh, that's easy. Oh, it's not easy. See, I, 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 I think we know the answer to that one. <laughs> no, it's a song, right? A record, or is it a complete album? She said, she record. Said, oh, she's putting some shit in right now. Look, you got fans watching you, right? Now, she said, best record you've ever heard. Best record I've ever heard. That's, that's a song. It's one song. One okay. Song, that's tough because I really love Kanye West's Runaway. Oh. Um, but I also love Kanye West's New Slaves. Which New Slaves was a song that motivated me uh -oh. to become White Kanye. If you listen to the lyrics, um, a lot of it really, like I'm dyslexic, for example. What was the question one more time? I'm fucked up. I'm really fucked up. What was the question one more review. time? Review. Just, I need a review. No, I'm going back. Hold on, hold on. All right. What's my favorite record? Okay. So it's New Slaves. I'm back. I'm back. I'm sorry. I got a bunch of... The story ended somewhere else. Yeah, so we have to bring it back. Stop that! Bring it back. Anyways, it says, you throwing contracts at me. You know niggas can't read. It hit me so violently because I couldn't read and they were throwing contracts at me trying to take advantage of me and basically saying that, you know, we're going to take it... Are you mad that I said the end? We are going to draw a line here. I've said it on FM radio before. Fuck exactly. you. That, that's more than fine. But when I'm a rap. Don't say it. There you go. I, you know, but I, what about when I'm quoting it? I don't give a fuck what you do. I'm, don't I'm do sorry. It. Don't do it. I'm sorry. And the only and reason I say sorry is because he's one of my brothers. You, you, I do have a pass, motherfucker. I but anyway, it only works in certain areas. But hold on, can I say something? You can't go to another country and use yeah. the same. I can go in the fucking hood and say it though. Yeah, I can say in the hood. That's more than fine. But hold on, can I say something? You're making this bigger than it was because no, you are because. So hold on, can I not quote an artist? You can do whatever. Can I not quote an artist? You can quote whoever you want. But. Just How do I say it then? No, 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 I, I, this is an honest question. For what? For what? For white celebrities out there. What are you supposed to you say? Got, when you, I, got, I got the answer. You don't say I, it. But no, you're quoting yeah, white celebrities. celebrities. Can, I, can I tell you one more? There's it's a little not, story. Pause. Not, listen. What okay, you listen. Do, what you do with everybody else is fine. I can't control that. I'm telling you, when me and you, when me and you are together, I respect that. There we go. That's this. I but can after, respect that. After that, I don't care. But when I, me and you are around, I, that's I, not happening. I respect that. There we go. So let's get back to the interview. And we I, are after I tell one story. Did you know my very first platform got canceled because my co-star said the N-word for quoting Kanye? Well, he's a white guy. He said the N-word a bunch of times on my on my radio show. This is a college Bruce, radio station. Hold on, let me finish. I don't care. Bruce. I don't want to hear Bruce. that. With me. I'm not gonna say. It. I'm just saying we got our radio show canceled <laughs> because this is funny. This is actually has a lot to do with the interview. Is he got he said the N word and we got this show canceled after he was quoting Kanye West Twitter. So I was just quoting a Kanye West song, quoting, not saying it. So that's the issue I have. To, okay. But I get it. It is a quote. So anyways, you can understand why. I totally can't. Can we get to the next fan question? Yes, we can. <laughs> so now, we're going to go, I'm going to find another one. Hold on, hold on, give me a minute. Let's get a good one this time. I don't think it scrolls down. It, it's, oh, it's a, a picture. That one. Are we, oh. That does, the, about the face one. <laughs> What's this one say? Yeah. It says, do you really have a face under the mask? Shut up, that's not the fucking question. I'm sure my fans are smarter than that. <laughs> I mean, because you did just say you don't. Take the mask off. I said sometimes I do. 
Sometimes, but no one knows but you. What if you're It's kind of like it? if a tree falls in the forest and no do one's it? around. Do it? Does it anyone hear it? Exactly. What if it's the basically like melted? Is, like, what do we do? Yeah, it could be it's severely scarred. Like, hold on, we got another one. Hold on. Righteous brother says, why are you hiding your face? See, it's not a hiding uh, thing. I, I like to think that the commitment level that I have I agree with that. for white Kanye is white Kanye. You see, some people want to be a star, right? They don't commit, and they're not a star. Commit. You want to be a star, you got to commit. be a star. So I thought to myself, what would white Kanye do? What would a supervillain do? Let's think just for one moment, what would a goddamn supervillain do? Probably wear a mask and have a secret identity. So if I walk around saying I'm a real life supervillain, why the fuck would I not have a secret identity? That sounds dumb as fuck to me. That actually that, that's a good answer, right? That's a very okay. good answer. Cut. I, I think I think that one gets a. Uh, oh, I we had a clap. Wait, I can't say clap. I'm the goddamn director. It's a 